Hey guys, it's Annie from CarStereoChick.com and we are answering our first question of the week. And our first question of the week actually comes from Zach. Zach writes in to me, Hello, I just got a pile 1200 watt two channel amp. I have a 1600 watt power cap and a dual voice coil 4 ohm kicker L7. First of all, will it all work together? And should I parallel the sub or series? Also, I'm not sure, can a two channel amp run one channel for the sub and a second channel for the speakers? Thank you for your time. That's very nice of you, Zach. Well, this is a really common question, and unfortunately, the two channel amp is really not the right amplifier for dual forum subwoofer. And you could make it work, but chances are it's not going to be enough power. The 1200 watt rating, that's probably a peak rating. The RMS is probably about a third of that which is about 300 watts, um, or I'm sorry, 400 watts. So uh, there's probably two ratings. It's probably 400 by one when you bridge it at a four ohm load. The 300 watt rating is probably 150 by two at four ohms. Now, the only way you could really do this is you would have to series the voice coil on the kicker. So you'd have to do this kind of diagram, which I have right here. So if you guys can see this, you'd have to crisscross. So you're gonna connect one positive and negative from the different voice coils on the subwoofer. And then you would use the open positive negative to bridge the two channel amp. And whenever you bridge a two channel amp, it's gonna see half the impedance as the actual speaker is. And whenever you series a subwoofer or series voice coils, you're gonna increase that impedance. So see our dual forum voice coil sub is now acting as an eight ohm sub when we series it. And when Bridget, the amp is gonna see four ohms. So that means that two channel amp, the most it can really put out is gonna be about 300 watts to that L7. And that L7 needs about 600 watts RMS. So your better option is keep the kicker sub and buy yourself a mono amp that's rated at 600 watts RMS at two ohms. Then you can parallel the sub and to parallel, you're gonna connect both positives and both negatives. That's gonna reduce the impedance down to two ohms. And this way, your mono amp is gonna see two ohms. It's gonna put out power efficiently, and uh, it's just gonna work much better. You couldn't parallel your sub and bridge your two channel, because that means the two channel amp would see one ohm, which is highly unstable, and it just really wouldn't work. So. I hope that makes sense, and I hope that helps a bunch of you out there. And uh, keep writing in at Annie at CarStereoChick.com, um, or just say, you know, comment on this post, and uh, I'll answer some more questions next week. Thanks, guys, and stay tuned for CES 2012. I will be blogging um, starting Tuesday, and I'll be showing you all the latest and greatest stuff that's coming out in car audio for this year. Thanks for watching.